Uh, emotions were strong at the memorial that had sprung up at the location where George Floyd died. And John Lortzen right now is at the corner of 38th in Chicago and South Minneapolis. And John, I know that area has kind of become sacred ground. It really has, Amelia. I know, and, and the memorial behind me has grown over the course of several days, obviously. Tonight, more of kind of a block party feel here. There are DJs, there's food, free food here. Uh, and music, and you can see the crowd. It's massive. There are hundreds of people here listening to speakers, listening to music. As we mentioned, for nine days, the memorial has grown here at 30th and Chicago. Chicago, rather, the tributes have grown and has drawn people in from all over and from all walks of life. With today's news, many of those visitors feel like they are a step closer to justice. I've been out here. Uh, how many days have we been? I don't know. We, 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 every day? We every day? Yeah. For nine days, brothers James and Butch Austin have been coming to this site where George Floyd took his last breath. This is the most white folks I've seen at, on this corner of, in my lifetime, and it's just it's surreal to me. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I'm really, you know, excited just to see like the community coming together. The brothers grew up a couple blocks away while they were hoping for charges against the other officers to come earlier. Today's news makes them feel like justice is possible. We need to send a message to officers, to people, to people in a position, uh, whoever has a duty to act, that they must take action or they'll still be held accountable. And so I think that's the message that we want to send. And by charging the officers, it'll do just that. Things do need to change. You know, bad cops do need to be corrected. But, um, you know, we still do need the, the police force. Patty Fossler and her husband drove their five grandchildren from Egan to the memorial. She considers this a teaching moment, a chance to teach a new generation that equality is what matters. The artwork is, is really great, and the memorials are great, and uh, the memories uh, written in the streets and stuff, too. Yes, and a lot of people we talked to today say this party this evening is about remembering George Floyd and honoring the memory of George Floyd. We talked about free food, free water. It's all happening behind me. They got some DJs here as well, a long line of people waiting to get free food. They've been barbecuing, doing all kinds of things. Really picked up this afternoon. And again, probably several hundred people here tonight, guys. Amelia? All right. Thank you, John.